Question 12.17. Questioner, is an entity in the fourth density normally invisible to us? Answer, I am Ra. The use of the word, normal, is one which befuddles the meaning of the question. Let us repraise for clarity. The fourth density is, by choice, not visible to third density. It is possible for fourth density to be visible. However, it is not the choice of the fourth density entity to be visible due to the necessity for concentration upon a rather difficult vibrational complex which is the third density you experience. Question 12.18 Questioner, are there any confederation or Orion entities living upon the earth and operating visibly among us in our society at this time? Answer, I am Ra. There are no entities of either group walking among you at this time. However, the Crusaders of Orion use two types of entities to do their bidding, shall we say. The first type is the thought form, the second, a kind of robot. Question 12.19 Questioner, could you describe the robot? Answer, I am Ra. The robot may look like any other being. It is a construct. Question 12.20 Questioner, is the robot what is normally called the men in black? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. Question 12.21. Questioner, who are the men in black? Answer, I am Ra. The men in black are a thought form type of entity which have some beingness to their makeup. They have certain physical characteristics given them. However, their true vibrational nature is without third density vibrational characteristics and, therefore, they are able to materialize and dematerialize when necessary. Question 12.22 Questioner, are all of these men in black then used by the Orion Crusaders? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 12.23 Questioner, if a man in black were to visit me and I locked him in the closet could I keep him, or would he disappear? Answer, I am Ra. It depends upon which type of entity you grab. You are perhaps able to perceive a construct. The construct might be kept for a brief period, although these constructs also have an ability to disappear. The programming of these constructs, however, makes it more difficult to remotely control them. You will not be able to grapple with a thought form entity of the man in black, as you call it, type. Question 12.24 Questioner, would this be against the law of one? Would I be making a mistake by grabbing one of those entities? Answer, I am Ra. There are no mistakes under the law of one. Question 12.25 Questioner, what I mean to ask is would I be polarizing more towards self-service or service to others when I did this act of locking up the thought form or construct? Answer, I am Ra. You may consider that question for yourself. We interpret the law of one, but not to the extent of advice. Question 12.26 Questioner, you spoke of wanderers. Who are wanderers? Where do they come from? Answer, I am Ra. Imagine, if you will, the sands of your shores. As countless as the grains of sand are the sources of intelligent infinity. When a social memory complex has achieved its complete understanding of its desire, it may conclude that its desire is service to others with the distortion towards reaching their hand, figuratively, to any entities who call for aid. These entities whom you may call the brothers and sisters of sorrow move toward this calling of sorrow. These entities are from all reaches of the infinite creation and are bound together by the desire to serve in this distortion. Question 12.27 Questioner, how many of them are incarnate on earth now? Answer, I am Ra. The number is approximate due to and heavy influx of those birthed at this time due to an intensive need to lighten the planetary vibration and thus aid in harvest. The number approaches 65 million. Question 12.28 Questioner, are most of these from the fourth density? Or what density do they come from? Answer, I am Ra. Few there are of fourth density. The largest number of wanderers, as you call them, are of the sixth density. The desire to serve must be distorted towards a great deal of purity of mind and what you may call foolhardiness or bravery, depending upon your distortion complex judgment. The challenge danger of the wanderer is that it will forget its mission, become karmically involved, and thus be swept into the maelstrom of which it had incarnated to avert the destruction. 
Question 12.29. Questioner, what could one of these entities do to become karmically involved? Could you give an example of that? Answer, I am Ra. An entity which acts in a consciously unloving manner in action with other beings can become karmically involved. Question 12.30. Questioner, do many of these wanderers have physical ailments in this third density situation? Answer, I am Ra. Due to the extreme variance between the vibratory distortions of third density and those of the more dense densities, if you will, wanderers have as a general rule some form of handicap, difficulty, or feeling of alienation which is severe. The most common of these difficulties are alienation, the reaction against the planetary vibration by personality disorders, as you would call them, and body complex ailments indicating difficulty in adjustment to the planetary vibration such as allergies, as you would call them. Question 12.31 Questioner, is there a way for these wanderers to heal themselves of their physical ailments? Answer, I am Ra. This will be the last complete question of this time-space. The self-healing distortion is effected through realization of the intelligent infinity resting within. This is blocked in some way of these who are not perfectly balanced in bodily complexes. The blockage varies from entity to entity. It requires the conscious awareness of the spiritual nature of reality, if you will, and the corresponding pourings of this reality into the individual mind, body, spirit complex for healing to take place. We will use this instrument as example. The portions of its ailment, as you call this distortion complex, that can be perfected in balance are due primarily to a blockage of the indigo ray or pineal energy center. This center receives the intelligent energy from all sources lawful within the one creation, that is, lawful in this third density distortion or illusion. If there is no blockage, these energies pour or stream down into the mind, body, spirit complex perfecting moment by moment the individual's body complex. This instrument also experiences some distortion of the green ray energy center which you may call the heart center. It is overly open due to an intensive desire distortion on the part of this mind, body, spirit complex towards service to others, or as you may call it, universal love. This entity, therefore, spends itself without regard to its reserves of mind, body, spirit complex distortion in regard to what you call strength or energy. This distortion is primarily due to the blockage of the indigo ray. As we have said before, the misapprehension distortion of the instrument responsible for this blockage is the basic orientation towards a belief in unworthiness. The unworthiness distortion blocks the free flow of intelligent energy. The seventh or violet ray is unimpaired, this being not only an energy receptor but a sum total of the vibratory level of the individual. The other energy centers are also quite clear. The solution to healing in this case is action that puts into practice the peaceful understanding and humility distortion that the entity is one with the Creator, therefore perfected and not separate. In each case of what you would call ill health one or more of these energy centers is blocked. The intelligence of the mind, body, spirit complex needs then to be alerted either by the self as healer or by the catalyst of another healer, as we have said before. Is there a short question before we close this session? Question 12.32 Questioner, is it possible for you to tell us if any of the three of us are wanderers? Answer, I am Ra. In scanning each of the mind, body, spirit complexes present, we find an already complete sureness of this occurrence and, therefore, find no harm in recapitulating this occurrence. Each of those present are wanderers pursuing a mission, if you will. Question 12.33. Questioner, thank you. Is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Answer, I am Ra. We ask you to realign the object upon which the symbols sit. It is not a significant distortion for only one session, but you will find upon measuring the entire assemblage that the resting place is 1.4 degrees from the correct alignment, the resting place an additional 0.5 degrees away from proper orientation. Do not concern yourself with this in the space-time nexus present but do not allow these distortions to remain over a long period or the contact will be gradually impaired. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai.